Oh boy. How's it going? Welcome, everybody. Halo. What's going on, man? Uh, well, it's that time. We're going to unbox it together, and then we're going to tear it down. You want a drum roll? A drum roll, yeah. Drum roll. I need that like that. <laughs> yeah. Maybe the, uh, the chariots of fire, you know? Dun, 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 dun. That's right. It's magical. It is magical. Chariots of what? Chariots of fire? Yeah. Let's go. Turn it all the way up. All the way up. Oh, there's an ad. Ugh, I ads. Come on. We didn't hit YouTube red. <laughs> All right, folks. Let's get started. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Easy enough. The Meta Quest Three. Sorry, I was sick for like a week, guys. My my voice totally went out like last weekend, Saturday and Sunday. I could not talk at all. And it's just really good timing. Today has been the first day that I have actually been able to talk pretty pretty normally. I sounded like Batman from the Dark Knight for like for like six days in a row. I don't even smoke. Oh. Gorgeous. It's beautiful. Oh. Controllers. These look like they'll come apart just the same way as the Quest Pro controller. Preliminary, I can see a screw there. This is probably adhesive that goes around. Thanks, Kieran. <laughs> This is kind of nice though. These actually clip in now. So you actually press a button and that ejects the, the grip or the battery cover, which is super fancy. That's great. I'm gonna set these aside for now. And we're gonna focus on the headset because we're here to do a teardown. Okay. So this is kind of cool. Instead of having the eyeglass spacers, this has like the HTC Vive mechanism where you can actually kind of, or did the, I guess the Valve Index had it, had it too, where you can kind of slide um, closer or nearer or closer or further away from your eyes using these buttons on the inside. That's okay. So there's four different, four different holes. So you can have four different levels of adjustability here with um, the eye spacing. Oh, we're just gonna, we're gonna take that away. Um, charge port. Um, charge port, auxiliary jack are both in the speaker arms now. Speakers right here and here. This should just clip off like normal. Great. And well, let's take this off. Mm. There we go. Okay, cool. I uh, you can get a better look actually here. If you look at this spacer, this it's got little gears. I push this button down, they move. They actually move independently of each other, which is kind of cool. But I can see where that might cause some problems if you're, if one side's broken or not pushed in all the way. Or I can see where that would cause issues. But maybe you find your, your level of 
comfort and then that's all you ever really need. We were kind of talking about it earlier. The, um, the original Quest 2 straps or any third-party straps actually will fit this. Um, this is the same groove. It's the same size. You would just have to make a mod with a Dremel or some sort of screwdriver for these for the charge port space and the auxiliary jack space. So if you're really dedicated to your third-party strap or um, whatever, you know, it's, it, these are actually – they would actually be moddable so that you could um, account for this, this little bump here or the bump on either side. This is crazy thin. This is this is thinner than most pairs of sunglasses I've owned in the in the recent past. I have a weird taste in sunglasses. Don't ask. You should check if the anchor if it will fit on the anchor charging dock. Yeah, we may do that. I don't have one sitting in front of me right now, but we will. Ah, oh, goodness. How much is the cheapest one? The these are the one twenty eight gigs, and they're four ninety nine retail. So. I think that's I think that's the cheapest we can get them. Um, just kind of looking at it, there's no obvious screw holes, which is a f departure from the Quest Two. The Quest Two had the very visible screw holes. You know, when when I look at the oh yeah, let's do a comparison here side by side. Now that I got the head strap off. An anchor dock? Yeah, we can do an anchor dock. Do what? Oh, we can take that strap off for me. Short Um, well, let's see. Oh, do we have the little dongle that would go in the... Oh, I don't think it... No, it's not going to... The way it's yeah, it's shaped. it's just not quite it's not quite right for the Quest Three and the well, Anchor Dock. Can you look at the bottom. I think that's yeah. where they're, they're the, right. So it, so it will have its own dock, um, and you can get it now. Um, and so it would just sit on there. But yeah, I don't think this is yeah. This is the one. That's the one you want. Yeah, this is the one. Okay. Yeah. Um, I don't have a dongle sitting in front of me, but I don't think that that's going to match up. Um, well, oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, we turned it on on accident. Hit the button. Oh, the joys of being live. I I've forgotten. I don't, there's oh, that. I don't think it will. I think they're slightly different. Oh, maybe not. I mean, technically, no. Well, kind of. Maybe. It doesn't sit great. It doesn't sit great. <laughs> but it might it might charge, maybe. <laughs> if you did it like that. It looks so great. No, it doesn't. <laughs> it's a stretch. <laughs> it's a stretch. It, but we tried. But we tried. So we didn't ruin that yeah. charge port. Oh, it's fine. Okay, well... No time like the present, everybody. Um, there's no obvious screw holes. Oh, that is just beautiful. Yes. Oh. DM, how you doing today? Digital Mechanics, my buddy. If you guys haven't checked out his page, he's got a lot of tips and tricks on, on computer repair. He's a personal friend of mine. Where's the charger? Oh, so the charger, sorry, I didn't take it out of the box. The charger looks like this. This is the charge block. It's round. And then the charge cable is just a normal USB-C cable. I don't have the dock that is that you can get. That's a that's a secondary or a, you know, an additional thing. We didn't get any of the docks yet. So I just the just the headsets and the controllers. Okay. 
They are evolving. All right. Again, no obvious screw holes here, so we're looking for gaps. And the only gap that I'm seeing is this rubber gasket here. So I'm going to assume that this probably pops out with clips. Oh, yep. Here we go. And that's how it's done. That's how we learn. We guess, we speculate, we make educated decisions, and then, and then we're in. I've not done a teardown for a for a new VR device on a live ever, so this is this is a new experience for all of us. Um, Surely, surely there's just a, okay, there we go. There's kind of some clips and then there's some hooks in some portions of this that need to be undone in order to progress further. So, but I think if you've got a spudger and some patience, you probably wouldn't have an issue. There we go. Done through the nose. This looks like oh, that just comes out super easy. It just kind of hooks. I'm kind of using my fingers just so I can feel around, but um, do whatever, do whatever pleases you, I suppose. That's yeah, this right here. Karen's picking up after me, everybody. That's what she does. No, 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 no. Let's try. Maybe. That other side, okay, yeah, it just pops out. Just a little bit of pressure. Sorry if I'm not uh, paying too close attention to the chat. This does take a little bit of concentration on my part, but I will do my best to jump in and and uh, try to answer questions as I as I am allowed mentally. And then this feels like a hook. Oh, there we go. There's a hook. And then there we go. Perfect. Let's take a closer look. Um. Then these plastic things need to come out. Grandma, what's up, buddy? Hey, how's it going? All right. Oh yeah, they're sharp. They look cool too. I, I did I did pop one on my face earlier and, and just kind of take a look around the new the new world. But uh, yeah, they're, it's, it's sharp. <laughs> so okay, so breaking breaking this down, it seems like this kind of unhooks at um, this bottom corner where it meets your nose, and then it just kind of pops off very easily. Uh, is that not it? That was the other one that you opened. Oh. Oh, I see. Then I don't know. Sorry. I'm sorry. They can't hear you. No. Oh. That's that sounds like on their end. I can hear you just fine. 
No. Well, now I muted you. No. Unmute. Unmute Crab Man. Crab Man. Oh, I invited you to unmute your microphone. There you go. All right. There Sorry. Hey. All righty. Or even Digital Mechanic said it. Oh, Digital Mechanic said he couldn't hear Crab Man? Um, I'll I'll leave and try and come back up seeing they uh, see that. Yeah. So my speculation here is I can see white plastic on this screw here, and I can see it on this screw down here. This middle part that looks like maybe it retains this one right here, that one right there, and this one right there. So it looks like seven screws are probably holding that front face plate in. These look like they are retaining the lenses somehow. We've got two separate LE or LCD displays and lens assemblies, so that's nice. Not just the one big LCD anymore. It's kind of funny how the charge port works in here now. The charge port looks like it wraps up from the motherboard and then kind of folds into the earpiece. It's hard to see probably from, from where your guys are looking at, but there actually are a couple screws in here that look like they've got that screwed in. And then a tiny little PCB. Speaker cable here. IPD um, sensor here, or facial recognition sensor there. Uh, audio jack, speaker cable. Man, this head strap retainer is not gonna be nearly as replaceable now, if somebody breaks that, it's it's gonna be it's gonna be a much much bigger problem. You know, before on the Quest Two, if you break the the, the um, strap head headband retainer, the head strap retainer, it's, it's way easier to replace. Okay, well, no time like the present. We're just gonna start unscrewing things. Welcome back. Okay. What do you think so far, crap man? It's it's amazing. <laughs> yeah, I saw your um video with all the um with them um, like that with all of them stacked up. That's oh, yeah? so many. How many yeah. did you get? We got uh well we ordered ten but we only got nine. It was kind of kind of weird. Um so we're gonna have to send our our, uh, the reseller that we reached out to a little bit of a, maybe, maybe they just couldn't fit it in the box and it's got a separate tracking number. Uh, this screw down here is pretty far in there. So I'm going to use an extender to get in there. Oh. And then I'll go ahead and knock this one out too, since that's equally difficult to reach. You know what I want to do now? A What's that? A uh, Meta Quest Three versus a Pico now. Oh yeah, in comparison. I still, yeah, I've still not gotten my hands on one of the one of the Pico Neos. So they, I mean, they look like good little units. But honestly, I think I think Meta's so far ahead of the game on some of this stuff and just the software aspect of it. Yeah, but that one's a, more powerful than the Pico Four. Yeah, but like Pico had um color pass through before them. Hmm. It's the part I liked. Yeah. Oh, well, this this yeah. one's definitely got it now, and it's it looks real good. Um, one of one of our uh, colleagues here, he's he's got a Quest Pro, and he says that the pat color pass through on the Quest Three is better than his Quest Pro. Mm -hmm. So. Alrighty. amazing it is can't wait so, to yeah. see like the pancake lenses outside of the uh so this that that definitely seemed to loosen up the face plate and there is some sort of clip i can feel just like some resistance here there's a clip I'm 
gonna try. Looks like you're, they're using a bit le a bit less uh, more screws. Um, it's definitely not as many um, screws to get into the front portion as as the last one. The last the Quest Two is sixty two screws on the on the face plate, and then it was what five retaining screws for the front cover. And this one, it's just got the seven screws. So we're gonna we're gonna take a look here. Let's see. Looks like oh maybe that's lifted up pretty well. You can see these ribbon cables here attached to these sensors so we've got at least three decent sized ribbon cables there so we got to come in from the top somehow but this doesn't seem to want to let go maybe This is the trick right here, trying to do it with just the right amount of pressure. And we're free. Voila. There it is. We're free. The fan is much bigger. Yeah, I noticed that. The Bluetooth antenna is the same. It's exactly the same size. Oh, nothing, nothing's wrong with this one. We're just doing a teardown. Just trying to figure out what's going on here. This is for educational purposes only. Um, it looks like we've got two retaining bits here, and I'm just going to start unscrewing those and seeing if we can gain access to where these ribbon cables connect. Oh, there's another screw somewhere. That looks like a screw. There she is. All righty. Then, there's my tweet. Oh. Somebody have a pair of tweezers. Mine ran off. Thank you. Crabman, I'm going to let you go for now, buddy. Okay. All right. Have a good one. All righty. Last four numbers on this one. This one is um, zero four P one. Yeah. All right. Back to business. Okay. A little bit of thermal paste here. That breaks free. Let's 
makes that a little easier. This uh, front plate is way thinner than the one on the Quest 2. The one on the Quest 2 is like a really thick piece of plastic, so. This piece of metal that's kind of holding these cables down has a handful of screws and then it seems like there's another series of screws that actually hold the cameras in. Now we're going to see exactly, oh yeah, this comes off in one unclean chunk here. Make sure I didn't miss anything. There we go. Sure is stuck. There's a little hook there. Something to watch out for. Okay. Nothing too crazy here. Just I might unlatch these. And unlatch. Here, I can get in there properly. Oh, come on. There she goes. Good. All right. All righty. Seems kind of odd. This ribbon looks like it's adhered down on this side, so I'm not sure how far we're going to get with that without taking apart everything else, but we'll just go ahead and start whittling. I hope all these cameras are held down by the same screw. That is indeed a different type of camera than what we've got in the Quest 2. It's like it's taller. Yeah, just for comparison. Um, that's a Quest 2 camera. It's quite, quite different. Probably not going to be doing much Q and A today, today, guys. We're just mostly doing this teardown, um, and then we'll do do more more Q and A um, probably probably later in the week and over the weekend as we become more comfortable and confident in these. And then we'll get back to doing Quest Two stuff um, as soon as I'm bored. <laughs> okay, and this is even a different camera than that camera, which is interesting. Two RGB cameras in the front, one depth sensor. Yep. It looks like so so far we've got four cameras. So there should be four and then a depth sensor in the center. Yeah, the cooling system is better and bigger. What's going on, VR bros? That's another. Um, NF2324. Two, 
I'm sure. This, this is our depth sensor. Looks like. Looks like we are just down to one type of screw for the retaining on the depth sensor and the cameras, which is nice. So far, there's not been a single T bit. All Phillips. No T2s. No T2s. No, no T3s. And there's our depth sensor. Um. Surely. See, I'm thinking about taking the, these bits up here, but surely we will take all this stuff off first and then maybe these just detach here and then I, maybe this whole apparatus just comes away, ribbons and all. We're going to have to experiment with it. These. Go ahead and start taking off these other. Oh, we have non ferrous screws. Uh -oh. Non ferrous screws. This is the Bluetooth antenna. There she is. I hate the non ferrous screws. It's the worst part. Run away. Alrighty. Okay. It's amazing how these companies will just redesign. I mean, there's nothing about this that's even remotely similar to the Quest 2 so far. Except for that it's got screws. What? Not at all. Not at all. It's like everything's just been redesigned. Oh, goodness gracious. Uh, um, okay. Let's... There's, there's that one. Not only do we have non ferrous screws, we have more non ferrous screws than we did in the Quest 2. Too many. Four was too many. Now we've got seven so far. Mark Zuckerberg watched my video about how much I hate the non fair screws and was like, give them 12. More. 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 Okay. Um, okay. This is interesting. This Bluetooth antenna is really short. It just plugs in right here. Oh, that's and yeah, it's I can feel it tugging as I try to move this away. Maybe like this. There she goes. Yep. The motherboard does look very similar. So far, yeah. Yep. And then it looks like I was right about this. This just unplugs, and then this whole side is free there. And then that unplugs, and that side is free there. 
And this unplugs. And there's a little bit of adhesive here. Let the heat gun go. faceplate is finally free which leaves us with this yeah there's just a little bit of adhesive there but nothing too crazy next I'm feeling these little guys, what do you think? Just oh, oh. if only these screws would magnetize, then they'd be so easy to pull out. But I don't know. No, can't do that. Thanks for nothing, Mark. How funny would it be if he jumped in the chat? You're welcome. If anybody knows Mark, Mark Zuckerberg personally, mm -hmm. you want to invite him to the live? I know Daniel. You should challenge him to a cage match. A Maybe. cage match? I don't know. I've seen the jujitsu videos. I mean, you could take him. You know what you should do is you should challenge him to a, a speed run of a tear down of a quest. Oh, yeah. Quest oh, I, yeah, I'd win. This is. Okay. Oh, interesting. Okay. So. When doing the. The tear down here, the I thought that this LED was like conical shaped, but it's just a little piece of plastic that kind of projects the actual LED that's on the board there. It's interesting. Tiny little screws hold this cooler in. Additional steps that must be taken, apparently. We're going to go for the fan.
I mean, for what it's worth, all of this seems really accessible. Everybody was asking us a lot of questions about whether or not we'd be able to repair them or whether or not they'd be as repairable as the Quest 2s, but so far, so good. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. I'm gonna go around and I'm just gonna unplug ribbons. If you guys get a chance to share this live with your friends or other people that are interested in VR, I'd really appreciate it. So far, we're, we're floating pretty low compared to, to other lives that we've done in the past. What are you guys whispering about back there? Plastic. I know this is not the same level of engagement you guys are used to as far as jumping in the chat and chit-chatting and talking and stuff about the quest, but I do hope we all appreciate the educational value of tearing one of these down. Also, my voice is kind of still a little hoarse, so even as I'm getting through this live, I'm going, oh man, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this for two and a half whole hours. I guess we'll see. Can I zoom in on the barcode? Zoom in on the barcode. Crabman, I will I will get to your headset as soon as I can. You want Garrett to fix your headset right now or you want me to you want to wait and have me do it on the live? Because I don't know if I'm gonna be on the live for, for three hours tonight. I'm probably gonna get this torn torn down and put it back together. And then we'll see we'll see how I'm feeling. Mm. White thermal paste. Oh, this is weird. We're going to have to go through this and kind of take a closer look at what each chip is and what they do. Garrett, you want to get eyeballs on this while I got it open? Whoa. That is different. It's way different. So it's it's actually not similar whatsoever. It's like liquidy thermal paste. It's not like the other. Yeah, it's one. yeah, it's completely different. Um. <clears throat> There's our battery. Same, same stupid little battery terminal connection. Mm -hmm. Ah. I kind of like those. Is that the... yeah. You're the only one. You like them? I can never get them. It takes me like a solid like two minutes just to even try to get it. It's all about it's all about technique and risk.
Yeah, guys, tons, tons of uh, aluminum screws. Goodness gracious. Is that it? Are we free? Oh, got one more. Blend it in. It's weird to me how much of this board is blank down here. There's nothing going on in this, like, southern region. That's it. That's the Quest 3 motherboard. Are you talking about that bottom part? Yeah, this bottom part. There's nothing going on here in this region. All the activities over here and over here. Thanks, yeah. I'll make a great, make for a great picture. Maybe. <laughs> what cameras are these? Well, two of them are the bottom cameras, and then two of them are the top cameras. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then this is the sensor. This right here, that's the sensor, the depth oh. sensor. And then it almost seems like I should kind of flip to the other side, but I'm not not entirely convinced. This seems like it obscures the view of all of the IPD gear shift garbage nonsense. We'll take a crack at it. We'll see what it looks like. Looks like it's attached. Yep, sure enough. Hmm. It's kind of new, the hooks that are right on the aluminum frame here. I'm feeling like maybe this is screwed in from the other side. Cause that doesn't, maybe that is holding something down. Oh, I see what's going on here. That's annoying. This Wi-Fi antenna hangs out and clips in here, here, and here. And it, Are you trying to split here? Well, yeah. Oh, it like goes underneath like the white part. Yeah, that's well, yeah, over top of it and like kind of hooks in. So we can maybe it comes out. Oh, it comes out this way. Okay. Okay, maybe not as annoying as I thought. Putting it back on might be though. Yeah. Still annoying. And then I don't know if I need to take that off yet or not. All of these look superficial. It's 
Sorry, I'm just kind of going around. We're just kind of, we're learning as we go, everybody. See, I would think that this would at least feel loose, but it feels like it's being held down on the other side. So I think I'm going to switch back over here. And we're going to start working on this side. Anybody else hot? It's getting kind of hot in here. Where to begin? <clears throat> this inside portion is messier. What's up, Razor GT? Seems to me that I mean, these look pretty accessible. special there. It kind of protects that assembly. I don't see any other screws holding this in, except for this one. That's a little retaining thing. Words escape me. Not great with words. Don't you run away. Ah. Oh, I see what we need to do. This white shell part needs to come out. So I'm like sitting here trying to think, like, how do we gain access to all that other stuff? And these these looked pretty accessible, but I just wasn't I just wasn't sure. The ribbon cable plugged in there. And other than that, this is free floating. Nope. Got our microphone right here. Now are we free? We're 
free air. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, that's the battery. Uh -huh. This is the battery. I was sitting here thinking, like, where's the battery at? This is the battery. Oh, the silver. This whole oh, thing okay. is the battery. Jack and Rose could have fit on the door together. That is true. Myth true. Mythbusters proved it. Okay. So, yeah, I thought this was just some sort of like, I don't know, shield <laughs> to obscure the the view of the of the gear system here all you um now i'm thinking well, let's put this one back for now if there's one thing that i don't want to do it's mess with the gear system because I've messed with the gear systems on the HTC Vive Pro and the Valve Index, and they're a nightmare. I mean, unless absolutely necessary, you really don't want to have to do it. And the Valve Index, you have to do it because it's part of the way that the eyes come out. And I'm imagining that that's probably what we're going to end up doing here too. But, but I don't want to get there until we get there. Yep. Alrighty. Oh, there it is. There's the battery. <sighs> okay. Two screws. Going to be a happy, happy battery. Hope. Oh. Ah. You almost got me, guys. Not this day. It's a very small, it's a very small um, hex bolt to hold the battery in. Three point oh, three point oh, three point oh hex bolt holds in the battery. In addition to two screws on the left and the right. Wow, they're long. You sit here and you think like, surely everything has a purpose, but what purpose is it? Ooh, look at that.
And that's just there to absorb the heat. Wow, it's so light now without the battery in it. There's nothing, nothing to it. And then, okay, so that shell comes off, and then we should be able to... I really only see... There's the one retaining screw up there. First, this is the first screw at a really weird angle we've encountered. You know, are these just taped down? something else I thought that was for the lens oh I see I see they are on like a valve index type system so this whole rod here has to come out that's a nightmare these these little LCDs they're they're on like the valve index style system they're attached to each other. There's a retaining rod here that's on a spring and it's auger mechanism that drives the IPD sensor mm. or the IPD adjuster. So LCDs won't be as easy to swap as one. No. Way more harder, complex. Yeah. Way harder. Way harder. All righty. Bye. Have fun. <laughs> I'm having so much fun. I'm the king of fun. I really hoped that these would just kind of like pop out. But no such luck. Let's see if we can do something else. I really want to separate these speaker arms and this shell frame from the rest of the quest. I don't know if that's possible. Oh, it's possible. Oh, we're gonna we're gonna do it. We're making history happen, Garrett. What do you mean? What? What happened? Oh, God. You're doing it live. I'm doing it live. Well, because I think this whole gear assembly will come out in one one big housing. We're going to see if I'm right. Because if that's the case, then it's still a full teardown, but maybe it's not a nightmare. I gotta say, so far, this feels like way more screws. 
Not th I feel like it doesn't. This feels like a lot. Yep, there it is. So that just comes out. Cool. Neato. That's pretty much it, guys. It's all torn down. That's... We've got the battery over here. Battery shield. Outer housing. Front plate. We've got our facial gasket here. Got our eye inserts, Bluetooth antenna, a ton of clasps, our um, depth sensor, our four cameras. Oh. There was, oh, there are there are two cameras here, but I probably still need to take out and just take a look. Are those comparable to the, the ones in the corners? Are they like the Quest 2's camera? They, I don't think so. I think that they're going to be like like these cameras. I thought that they were as well, but. We'd have to, I'll have to tear them down or just a little further. But why is it down the drain? We're gonna put it back together. It's gonna be fine. It's not broken. Oh yeah, we can fix sun damage. We fix sun damage all the time. Yeah, this is just a teardown. This is what I do for fun. You know, this is my idea of a Saturday night right here. On a Wednesday. On a Wednesday, yeah. <laughs> Balling on a budget. $500 of fun. <laughs> for a day. Yeah, arguably you had more fun. Yeah. Can I fix your controller? Of course I can fix your controller. Are we doing giveaways for Oculus 3s? No, we're not doing giveaways. Unfortunately, they're, they're mine. Um, I bought them. They belong to me. We might do some Quest 2 giveaways now, though. Anybody, anybody who wants one? They won't connect. Oh, goodness. What do we got here? Well, guys, I think that that's that's it. That's, well, I guess we can we can see how how difficult these charge ports are to take out. We want to do that. Yeah, these speaker arms are completely different.
This is weird. There's a screw somewhere. There she is. Alrighty. And last one. Maybe. There we are. Oh, wild. Wild. Huh. The speaker arm comes out easier than the charge port does. The charge port's like literally the last thing. That's a yeah. It's, it's like, I don't even, you know what happened. Oh, there's two screws here. You know what happened? Okay, so check this out. So even after I take the, um, the speaker arm off, this just is embedded in the frame, and there's two more screws that hold it here. So clearly Metal learned their lesson about the flexibility yeah, of that port. It yeah, it's super rigid now. Bolted straight onto the frame. Still, though, Somebody, somebody shorts one of those out or shocks it, melts it, and it's going to be a nightmare. Yeah. Brain yeah. Pretty much. Same thing on the other side. Well, I guess it's time to start putting it back together. I'm kind of tempted to take. I guess I'll, I, I still want to see and see what kind of these, uh, what kind of cameras these are under here. Oops, oops, oops. Huh. I'll be darned. That is a Quest 2 camera under there. Finds a way. Sure enough. So, it's good to know. And then they'll reinvent the wheel.
All right. Fascinating. Preston, I heard you back there. What is, what is easier to fix, the new one compared to the old one? Uh, the Quest 2 is definitely less, less complicated. I can say that. I'm not going to say that these are irreparable at all. I mean, we're going to put one back together, and we're going we're to find out exactly how hard they are to put back together. But, I mean, so far, I'm not seeing any – I'm not – it's, it's it's just there's just more stuff here period i mean there's just more sensors there's more cameras there's more screws um the the lens apparatus and um the way that this uh, ipd adjustment works much more like the valve index um and that system it's not spring loaded like the valve index system so that's nice because the springs on the valve index system the valve index system it's got two rods and there's tops and bottom top and bottom springs and then it just kind of uses the this little auger system to adjust but the springs kind of hold things in place and so this is a step up from that in my opinion uh, as far as compl uh, simplicity it's not nearly as complex but um but goodness, yeah. I mean, sometimes it's hard to say, you know, like once we get used to this and, you know, we've fixed a handful of these, you know, maybe maybe we'll go, oh, yeah, that's that's really straightforward. Or maybe maybe we won't end up fixing that many of them because some of this over engineering that it seems like they've done is actually really beneficial to the, the life of the, the headset. Um, gosh, it's, it's just hard to say. Goodness. We're gonna do a couple more teardowns over the next few days. So, hopefully by uh, hopefully by the end of the week, we're uh, we're feeling pretty confident in our capabilities on these units. They're definitely gonna take some practice. Oh goodness.
Got to tell you, on teardowns, I feel a lot more like screw conscious just because with the Quest 2s, we have so many piles of screws of, you know, for, for the units laying around. That it's like, man, if you lose one, it's not a big deal. But on these units, every screw counts. Because I don't have any replacements. And we have a lot of carpet here, so once the screw's gone, it's it's out. It's gone. It's gone for good. Yeah, that's right. We're we're trying to we're learning how to fix them. One step at a time. Sorry, I'm not super talkative, guys. I'm really just kind of thinking, thinking through this. We're just kind of doing it together, learning as we go. Oh, well, that'll do it. Just like that. Okay, all right. I wasn't sure. These do go. That's right. I remember now. I might have to go back and watch myself take this, take this apart.
And we'll go. There we go. Oh, I know. I know what I'm going to do. I got it figured out now. I'm not sure what that does exactly. It just kind of maybe gives an extra bit of tension and helps hold that LCD down in place. And then there is a, there it is. I thought these were going to be a little bit more relevant than they were. Just looking at them, they just look like they maybe absorb heat with their thermal pads. Exact purpose unknown so far. This, this aspect of it does remind me a lot of the valve. Very similar in the way that this 
front plate comes off. Oops. Famous last words. Oops. Got to get it around that dial there. And then... Oh. Sweet. Where is... Where's number two? Oh, this is number two. That's right. That's right. Uh, oh, that one? Yeah, that's it. It sits in there funny, doesn't it? Aluminum screws. It's going to drive me nuts. I don't know if I can do it. I want to repair a headset that has so many aluminum screws. Oh, they're non-magnetic. So you can't you can't just grab onto them like with this one. It's super easy to grab onto with these ones. They don't react. So that means you got to hold them in with tweezers whenever you do stuff. It's really annoying. It's not impossible. It's just annoying.
It is a quest three. We're getting really close to break time, guys. No, I'm not not doing requests tonight. I just. Uh, Mostly, I just uh, wanted to do this teardown because we just got these in today, and I just thought I'd, I'd include everybody. So, I've already screwed it up. Told you famous last words. It's like, man, I can't believe I didn't lose a single cable in translation here, but I did. Fish it out. Come on. That's risky business. There it is.
just looked like they gave us more slack to work with on this battery cable. It's not quite as taut, easier to aim. You guys will have to give, forgive me if I if I screw something up. And somebody out there is more knowledgeable than I am. I'm kind of doing this off memory, so we're just figuring it out as we go. That's how we learn. And everything can reach. That looks pretty good. Kind of go through and. These are the tiniest screws the whole bunch. These are annoying. Did I? Can't remember. This fits in like this. This came off second. Okay. I'm gonna go back. We gotta go back. certainly got to go on first.
Oh yeah, that's right. Now it looks better. Oh, goodness. Oh, well, I'll tell you what, folks. We're almost there, but it's about time to close up shop. <laughs> and I'd love to hang out, but um, we've got more of this to do over the next few days. We'll probably do uh, we'll probably do controllers tomorrow, and then I'll probably do another headset, another Quest Three headset. Um, what on? What's today, Wednesday? So we'll do another Quest 3 headset on Friday, and then we'll do both on Saturday. Um, I appreciate you guys hanging in and hanging in there and, and watching and everything. Um, if you're not subscribed yet, um, it really helps us out, and I appreciate, uh, appreciate the watch. Um, thanks, everybody. You guys have a good night.